Mm. How's it going? Hello. Mm. I was enjoying some McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Because we got really hungry seeing all those commercials. All those commercials in between for Roswell? Oh, yeah. Roswell Rica. Roswell Rica. Relationship with these uh, French fries. Yeah. Mm. Just. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, welcome back. It's been it's been some time. It's like a week break. Yeah. It was sad. It was sad. I missed you guys. Yeah. I hope you missed us because we missed you. But we're back. We're back, and we are here. And some shit like hit the fans Ooh, tonight. This was some voiceover narration episode. Ooh, we got a lot going on. So we have a lot to talk about. We should do. Let's get started. Mm -hmm. So, we have this, well, basically we start off and Isabel is telling them, hey, I found out I've actually been controlled. Like, some being was in me. I think it was before they landed. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and so everyone's on this team. They're like, okay, Isabel, you didn't do it. All right, cool. You're not the murderer anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, you kind of are, but aren't. You not know, your fault. Not your fault. Blah, blah, blah. And so everyone's like, hey, this alien's like been knowing stuff going on. So it's got to be someone close, right? Mm-hmm. They know everything. They know about the serum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They, right place, right time mm-hmm. kind of a thing. So, um, yeah, they're all kind of putting this together. And so they all kind of decide, hey, we got to... You know, we gotta make sure we kind of keep this on the DL and mm-hmm. like pretend like nothing's going on. Yeah. Just hanging out. The people that you think you can trust, you mm. can't trust. Mm. Apparently. Mm. And we found that out all too well this episode. Boy, did we, man. I think that's why I'm eating fries. I'm like, damn, I was not expecting that. Yeah, we're stress eating. We are stress eating. Mm. So yeah, we had this. Gala that Isabel's putting on. Mm-hmm. All the cast looking banging. Seriously. Damn. Every Damn. single outfit. Literally every time they showed a character, I was like, ooh, girl. Ooh. Like every time a new one would come up, like, ah. The dresses, what? the makeup. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. You could, ladies looked fierce. Boys, you looked great. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Especially Liz's dad. He Aww. did. Little guy, her date. So, so cute. So cute. So cute. And he's. Looking at getting citizenship. Maybe. One less thing for Liz to worry about. Well, kind of she has to worry about it more so now that Noah, <laughs> Noah is part of that True. That venture. But well, That's true. I wasn't even thinking about that. But at least that. he's now considering it, right? So he's yes. like, okay, I'm going to do this. It was a scary step, but I'm going to take it. I agree with you. Um, and Liz in this episode finally kind of was like, I kind of want to be with you, Max. Like... I have this adventurous spirit. I have these opportunities, but I've just realized, and it, it took her a little bit, but it took her through the episode to kind of realize, like, I really just want to be with you. Yeah. Well, especially, not, yes, she's adventurous, but it's that she's so afraid to yes. get close. Yes. Yes. That she would rather just break ties than risk someone else hurting her. Yep. Which I think says a lot about her as a character, and it makes Definitely. a lot of choices that she has kind of made. Mm-hmm. It makes them make a lot more sense. I enjoyed the dialogue. Well, first of all, actually, a lot of the dialogue in this episode I really enjoyed, which was, no offense, was kind of a surprise, because it hasn't been like that. But like I felt like Max and Liz's dialogue was really good. And Max like, and Michael. Max and Michael's was great. That scene was excellent. That was needed. That's one of the best scenes they've done so far. Yes. Oh, hands down. And those were those moments because, like, I feel like they were trying to do that in, like, earlier episodes. Like, when Max was doing that monologue to Isabel, like, you can't die. Mm -hmm. You know, and it just was terribly written. And cheesy. and Yes, cheesy. And, like, this, like, it felt so real and so genuine. And you just felt both of their pain. Mm -hmm. You know, and just Max being like, like, I've lived with this guilt my whole life knowing that, like, my mom didn't pick you. 
You know, like, you think I was okay with that? Like, you are my, you are my family. Like, you're a part of me. And I've seen the life that you've had to live, which is shitty. And it's because they didn't pick you. Mm-hmm. You know, and like, I think that's why he has that daddy mindset too. Because he's like, he feels like he has to take care of Michael because that happened to them. And I think Michael became more aware of that in that conversation. Yeah. Well, I mean, he that. didn't snap back. Yeah. That's kind of when you know, like, that Michael's, like, Uh listening. Uh Uh-huh. Totally. Is because he actually doesn't say anything. (laughs) Yeah. Exactly. Yep. So, I love that dialogue with them. That was really nice. Yeah. Being thrown in that bunker together. I mean, what else are you going to do? You're going to talk about your feelings. So true. You know? So true. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. So, let's just get into the meat. Okay. Of these fries. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Get into the meat of it, which is Noah. Right. So... We first have the red herring, which is Maria. Now, we had mentioned this before in prior episodes, if you watched, that we kind of thought she was acting weird. And Suspicious. Something. Suspicious. We knew she had abilities of somewhat. And we also thought she just, yeah, acted very suspicious with certain things. Like, yeah. you had mentioned, like, the corn dog scene. Yeah, when they were, like, following around the mixtape. And they went to, like, the drive-in. And she's like, I'm going to go get us corn dogs before, mm-hmm. and, like, to watch the movie or to enjoy yeah. the whatever. And then she left. And that's when Isabel tried to get into Liz's mind. And she got all sick and whatever. And then, like, Marie came back. She was like, okay, we're leaving. Yeah. And I was like, why? Mm-hmm. That didn't make sense. Like, you're going to stay. And then you're saying you're leaving. Like, that was confusing. That mm-hmm. was weird. But that starts to make sense. Mm-hmm. There's a reason. And when Isabel brings up, like, um, her getting sick, like, mm-hmm. right after trying to get into yeah. her head, like, mm-hmm. that was another thing that we had thought of. And we're like, okay, that was really weird. Or even, like, this episode when Michael confronts her in the cafe, she acted almost like she didn't know how to react right. to their well, he said, He said, oh, you're going to act like you don't know me. And she kind of gave him a look and then was like, hey. Yeah. So it's either yep. that Noah forgot mm-hmm. that they know each other, or right. Well, who he knows? probably didn't know that they had an intimate relationship. Well, that's so. true. He would yeah. have no reason to know that. I mean, was, he may be into that. He's into weird stuff. True. So true. Yeah. Huh. That's very true. But yeah, so we kind of thought there were off things about her, and but my thing was like they keep hammering that it's Maria, so it can't be Maria. Right. You know, um, it's going to be too a obvious. Yeah. And so then some of you called out, you guys mentioned Noah mm-hmm. in prior episodes. We did. You're right, we did. And still not okay with it. No. I'm I don't I don't like being right <laughs> in regards to Noah. No. But <sighs> they're sad because I really like Noah. Like that I guess the thing with stuff like this that bothers me. And anything, when they want to have like these twists of a character that you like, they're actually bad, you know, whatever. It's just to me, it doesn't feel like a manipulation by the character. It just feels like a manipulation by the writers. Mm. It just feels like they're on purpose like, hmm, how can we make this really hurt? Okay, mm-hmm. we're going to make him be, like, so great. The best. The yeah. best husband ever. Yeah, we're going to make him be so great yeah. so that when we do this... But in doing that and not having really any true inklings, like, it just feels cheap. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't like it. I just, it it always bugs me. They've done it. I mean, they they do it uh, in the opposite direction, but, like, it's like that in Harry Potter. Yeah. Like, Snape. Yeah. Because it's like, he's bad. He's bad. It's like, yeah, Yeah. you kind of show him being good and all that stuff. And... But he's still a bully at heart. But then they're like, oh no, but it's okay because he loved Harry's mom. Yeah. What? (laughs) That doesn't make sense. Like, and it does, it's like, at the time, I thought it was like so great. I just remember like, oh my God, like that's so emotional. And like, looking back, like that's so dumb. Yeah. And that's how I feel like this is that same sort of thing where they're like, we have to build it up in such a way that you would never guess it. That yeah. then we flip the wig on you. And then, like, when she, like, goes into his head, he is so menacing and so, like... Oh, yeah. There was a switch, for it sure. It was. Mm-hmm. Which, like, acting-wise, I liked. Yes. You know, like, I, totally. it was a nice mm-hmm. job. But it was just, like, who are you? Well, I think that's the point, though. Like, who are you? Like, who have I been with these past however many but years of what's married? the point of having... I don't know. I guess it's just, like... To build up this relationship and have this relationship just to, like, turn it. 
I, d- I don't know. I just feel like there would have been like a better way for him to like be involved. Well, like, I think we're gonna learn. Obviously, the next episode we're learning more about true. his backstory and their backstory, which I'm excited about. I'm kind of curious to see, in par with the original, how much they're gonna pull from that storyline. Mm-hmm. True. Um, and who he is, I'd be really curious to see if they use. They may not have rights on it, but any original names or you know characters, whatever. Um, so I think maybe we'll know more about. And, like, his relationship with Isabel, like, there may be something to that. True. You know, because my thing is, like, why why get in the family? Like, he did that for a reason. He got with her for a reason. Right. Um, so I'm kind of curious to learn more about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and but he was very much like, girl, I did love Rosa. Right. I still love Rosa. And she yeah. was like, say what? So I'm like, why wouldn't he have, like, gone for Liz? That'd be second best thing. Yeah, totally. Like, why go for Isabel? Mm. Like, I don't know. I just have lots of questions. And it just, like I said, it just feels to me that it's just them being, like, trying to have a big twist. Mm-hmm. But, and so, I don't, I don't know. It's just always rubbing me wrong. <laughs> Sheila Bonbon coming in with that gun and saving the day. Yes, Sheila Bonbon. And also like laying it, laying the truth to Liz when Liz was like, "How can I help you?" She's like, "Well, let me tell you what's going on. You tell me how you can help me because mm-hmm. I'm in a shitty situation." But she like laid it out there. And it was super interesting, and I think partially why Liz had her telling of Max, "I want to be with you." Because she specifically, well, you know, was talking about all this stuff. Or Sheila Bonbon was talking about all this stuff with her sister. And, you know, and Liz says, you chose Max over your sister. Mm-hmm. And since that's kind of been the whole thing this season, mm-hmm. it's like, well, my sister, well, my sister, well, my sister. Right. And I think kind of, yes, she had already kind of come to terms with Max and all that stuff. But I think that was kind of the final thing of, like, maybe you don't have to always just you know mm-hmm. it's what is right like that's what her, right. that's, that's what, what she said Sheila said she was like this is that's what's right so that's why he did it mm-hmm. and I think that was important for Liz to hear um just because she obviously especially now knowing that Isabel didn't really do it yeah that it, you know I don't know that's the right thing how it all happened and so I, I just feel like the way that I get it Sheila's saying that I just yeah, yeah, think yeah. helped Liz yeah. kind of nailed Solidify that. Solidify that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe. But, uh, but yeah, and Sheila was looking great. Sheila's dress. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, Ninja yeah. Liz. This whole yeah. episode. Yeah. Ninja slash, like, mechanic, like, getting on her work glove. Oh, uh, yeah. That was, it was another thing of, like, oh, no cell reception. Oh, I know where they are. Yeah. There are a billion places that don't have cell reception. <laughs> Especially, like, in the desert. Yeah. But, well, that's okay, the thing, so like, if me. you have, like, a rogue murderer, like, yeah, they could literally be anywhere, because you could just imagine, oh, if they probably got them, and then where would they be? But, I mean, she did know about that bunker, and probably had yeah. worked down there with Michael a few times, so, like, I'm sure probably that was at least the first thought. She should have said, like, I know somewhere to check. Mm-hmm. You know, that probably would have been better. It's like, I may, I may know where they are, you know? But yeah, and then I was like, right away, like, she knew exactly what to do. She, yeah, the gloves yeah. were on, chain into the truck, and... It's like, okay, let's, again, freaking FBI, check, like, scientist. Yes. Please. Yes. She had some special training in Denver. Please. Yeah. I I want Liz's backstory. Yeah. (laughs) What did you do in college, girl? (laughs) Seriously. Also, rewinding way the hell back, whatever happened to her fiancé? Good question. Yeah. Is he going to show back up and be like... At the very end of the season? I'm here to marry you, Liz. Yeah. With her tongue down Max's throat. Mm. She'd be sipping that milkshake. That's right. Oh, drink it, drink it. Yes. And she'll be like, I don't know who to go with. Um, sad we didn't see Kyle or Alex this episode. Yeah. Is this another, like, they were contracted with something else situation, maybe? Oh, I guess. Because, yeah, I could definitely have used them. Because with all the stuff, it was a lot. We learned a lot. And for them to just, like, not be there. It's like, yeah. Yeah. what's going on, guys? What are you guys doing? Like, there should have been, like, at least some part of dialogue being like hey where's alex oh he's off 
Ugh. Or like, hey, yeah. where's Kyle? I don't know. It's just like. Well, they were showing. It looked like they were going to be at the jail or whatever. So maybe they were on the way to the jail. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're right. Okay. But still, they could have been there for that and then go to the jail. Right. <laughs> could have. I don't know. We'll have to see what they say in the Potholes. next episode. Potholes. Yeah. Potholes. I mean, this show. It sure. does its best. It's a fun time. Mm-hmm. I enjoy mm-hmm. it. I want to know why Liz still had her shirt with all the blood on it. Yeah. what Girl, why haven't you done laundry? Seriously, like, blood? You can't just, like, let that sit. But, okay, and that's a You're thing. a woman, so you have periods, so you know how to get blood out of clothes. And you don't put it in the laundry. And you don't, you probably don't want your dad to see that. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I questioned about that. I was like... Girl, you need to be doing some I mean, it's great. It was great, yes. you know, for yes. the sure. purposes. Right. But. Glad she had it. Found right. out about Noah. Right. But. Why? It was like in the box. Like, oh, you're going to get all your other clothes bloody. Yeah. Like, not a good idea. Mm-hmm. Liz, choices. Yeah. Choices. Mm-hmm. So, interact. So, Maria was the red herring. She was being controlled. And date rape. <laughs> date mm-hmm. rape drug. <laughs> Which, by the way, I had no idea about that nail polish. So, ladies, we need to get that. Check on the list. Um, but, yeah, so then Michael was very adamant about when to take care of her. And so we kind of... Yeah, so we kind of had this little exchange when she woke up, when she didn't want him to leave, and kind of a thing. So, again, it's kind of showing, like, there's some feelings there, but it's nothing like... It's not like Alex, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just, like, there is something there... So I'm hoping that that is kind of what you were thinking. It's like that's just going to become a really sweet, awesome friendship. I hope so. I, I just don't want a real love triangle. I do not want to dislike yeah. Maria. I just don't. I can see her saying, like, yeah, I really like you. But I also see her saying, but I care too much about Alex. Unless Alex yeah. tells me I'm done with you, mm-hmm. then I'm not going to mess with it. Like, that's what I feel like she would say. Well, even that though, I mean, I still, I don't even think she would. You, I just, seeing her character, I just could not see her going for anyone that Alex had been with. Just friend code. Yeah. Well, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of questions here that Michael's gonna have. Being like, okay, do you remember X Y Z? Like, <laughs> were you who you, were you you? Like when we did mm. this, like. Questions, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You know? So I got questions. He's gonna have questions. Well, she should have questions like, "Can you tell me about all these aliens?" She still doesn't know. Is she gonna at least know like final episode? Well, hopefully next episode. I mean, she was like all knocked out and everything. Right. Hopefully they explain to her what's going on. She's gonna have questions. Look, Maria needs to know. For she God's to know. sake, you, you accused her for a hot second. I. Seriously. Seriously. She can keep a damn secret. This is Maria DeLuca. Okay? Come on. Come on. But really. But really. And now it's time for Roswell's very own Babe Watch. This week on Babe Watch, I went up to the lab and saw what was on the slab, and it was Maria DeLuca. She was looking fine even when she was comatose. That dress was everything so beautiful with her little hair like it hit her shoulders just perfect just everything about her look this episode was spot on she was gorgeous even when she was like possessed by some alien she's still gorgeous i just maria i love you girl please learn about these aliens anyway that's all i got to say this week about babe watch well, so yeah, so next weekend, like I said, we're going to get more of Noah's backstory since he's the fourth alien. What does this mean? How much does he remember from their past life? Apparently yes. more than they do. Totally. So. Totally. And like, you definitely can see there's conflict within Michael about all this. Yeah, because he wants to know. And he's been wanting to know. Yes. He's the one that really yes. cares and really like wants to know where they're from and wants yeah. to go back. Yeah, for sure. Just because he feels like he doesn't have anything here. It was really sad. When he mentioned was talking about that, just but also you know him saying Alex made me feel like yes. this was worth. I actually staying. belong here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Alex, not to fear, you can probably give him the peace. But if you tell him that you want him to stay, he'll stay with you. Straight up. We need that to happen. Yeah, you just probably have to like kill your dad or something. 
It's fine. I mean, Nikki sent him off. Yeah. Obviously, it's not like Alex is like, I believe my dad. Right. Yeah. True. True. Just keep working on the relationship. It'll be fine. He's so great. So, yeah. Um, obviously, there's going to be that tension because Michael's going to keep Noah alive to kind of know what's going on. And Max and them are like, this guy's a murderer. He's killed all these people Mm -hmm. and i kind of want to know about that too it's like is he just literally like a serial killer or is there like a reason why he killed these Mm -hmm. people Mm -hmm. you know because it kind of seemed interesting like in the trailer like noah's demeanor obviously was different which i love that i'm like cool like this actor's been great now i really feel like this is a completely different being Mm -hmm. but it also was kind of how he was talking it was like very like casual yes. and like it wasn't like he was tied up yeah no he and he didn't seem like he was like sitting on the couch. an evil guy it was very much just like this is what it is y'all yeah there was a war going on where we're from and that's all we got in front of right so um i definitely think there's more to it hopefully they don't make him totally terrible yeah but he already said like that he doesn't love isabel yeah and i mean whatever spoilers fuck it and Nacido, Nacido, he killed, but it mainly was to kill just because it was like either he would use that person and he was over it and then like he would kill them. So that way there was, you know, nothing to trace or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, but he wasn't like just going around just all willy nilly like, I'm just going to kill. Like it was right. all to protect the group mm-hmm. and, um, you know, keep them safe because the government the government, which I think is going to be a big player probably next season. Yeah. I mean, we're already so, starting with the whole jail thing. That looks like yeah, that's going to be for sure. intense. Um, especially the fact that there's only been, they said, 14 murders uh-huh. that they know of. That's not a lot mm-hmm. for, you know, 20 years. And I, again, like, I really feel like it was like they had to have been purposeful like it's almost kind of like a Wyatt it's like you use a Wyatt and then when you've used them up so much who knows what how that affects them Mm -hmm. mentally and then maybe it's just like it's just easier just to kill them and like move on but obviously you left Rosa and that was a completely different thing so yeah I want to know what's up with all that too like how did you even like meet Rosa I don't know like well children out there this episode was riveting. Mm. It was fun. It was definitely had a lot going on. So it did be a roller coaster. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. I'll ride again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll watch, I'll watch next episode. Mm-hmm. See, see what's going on with this Noah character. Might as well. Yeah. Exactly. So, guys, thank you for joining us mm-hmm. for another wonderful, beautiful episode of what? The Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap! sci-fi television shows oh. and movies what? and some that we've never seen before oh lord you know that you guys can actually tweet us at cafe crashdown and let us know some of your favorite tv shows and movies that you recommend for us to break down mm-hmm. and after we watch them we will either thank you for such a great pick or curse you for a shitty one so recommend at grown risk we will be live tweeting on Tuesdays Yes. when we're watching Roswell New Mexico on the CW. Yep. And you can catch us with the hashtag CW Roswell Recap. I'm sorry, wait, what did you say? The Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap. Oh, oh, it's the Roswell See Recap! See you Thursday. Woo!